The largest off-the-strip Vegas hotel, the 30-story structure sits on 64 acres of land, dwarfing other properties by the convention center. Unlike smaller neighboring business hotels like Renaissance Las Vegas or Las Vegas Marriott, Westgate doesn't skimp on Vegas fixings. The hotel supplements its convention-friendly amenities with the same kind of gambling and entertainment options that tourist magnet strip hotels offer. In fact, this hotel has a proud history of drawing iconic Vegas entertainers. The Westgate, then called the International Hotel, booked Barbara Streisand for its 1969 opening night. The hotel also helped relaunch Elvis Presley's career in 1969 with what would become a seven-year string of concerts. The hotel immortalizes those performances with an Elvis Presley statue at the entrance. In the 1970s, iconic Vegas piano man Liberace played on the property. At a glance, the Westgate may seem to be a few short blocks from the Strip, but bear in mind that Las Vegas blocks are quite long. Plus, not all sections of the Strip, the densely packed three-and-a-half-mile-long stretch of hotel casinos, are equally appealing. From the hotel, it's a 30-minute, five- to six-block walk to the popular Wynn. Less hip spots like Circus Circus and the Stratosphere are closer. So, you'll likely want to take a cab or hop on the monorail, which stops at the Westgate as well as the MGM Grand, Bali slash Paris, Flamingo slash Caesars Palace, Haraz slash The Link, the Convention Center, and the SLS. On the plus side, the blaring lights and music of the Strip are far enough away that they won't impede your sleep. Room decor is unadventurous, but welcoming. In premier rooms, offsetting the pale yellow walls. Furnishings consist of deep red easy chairs, dark wood desks, nightstands, and entertainment consoles, and beds with tall black four-panel headboards. Decor is slightly edgier in the signature rooms, which have framed black and white prints of Elvis Presley and Marilyn Monroe. Shiny black window drapes, dark and mercifully non-floral carpeting, and black fabric-covered chandelier lamps. Both premium and signature rooms are 400 square feet, the Westgate's suites run as large as 10,000 square feet. The 95,000-square-foot casino sets the Westgate apart from nearby business hotels, many of which lack gaming options altogether. Guests will find the typical slots and table games, as well as the world's largest sports book, 350-plus seats, 28 gigantic HD TVs, one ginormous 15-foot by 20-foot TV, and eight wagering windows. Despite the skyline views and plenty of deck chairs, the amoeba-shaped pool is only so-so by Vegas standards. It's far smaller than the outsized pools at strip resorts like the Flamingo or the Mirage, and its plain cement deck with relatively little foliage doesn't add much. Nonetheless, the Westgate's pool trounces what you'll find at fellow convention center hotels like the Renaissance Las Vegas and Las Vegas Marriott. And during the day, it gets steady foot traffic from business travelers cooling off with a cocktail from the poolside bar and families with small children playing on the shallow ledges. The adjacent fitness center is housed in a pavilion-like structure with floor-to-ceiling windows that allow guests to take in the pool scenery while pedaling on exercise bikes or doing tricep pulldowns. Ellipticals, treadmills, bikes, and a climbing machine all have individual TVs. There are also six tennis courts on the grounds, unusual for a Las Vegas resort. The business center caters to large-scale meetings with printing services that include binders, newsletters, business cards, and name tags. A notary public is also on hand. Individual guests, meanwhile, will find the same nickel and diming that's common in most large Las Vegas resorts. Black and white copies cost a per-page fee, though bulk rates are available. The hotel has a long history of booking big-time performers. In 1969, it helped revive Elvis Presley's career with what would become a seven-year string of concerts. Currently, hotel guests can catch on-site entertainment, topless reviews, tribute shows, and live music most nights of the week. Away from the Strip and demure for Vegas, the Westgate is appropriate for families. It provides babysitting services and cribs, and the pool has lots of space for young ones to splash around, though there's also plenty of drinking by the pool. But the hotel doesn't offer much in the way of kid-friendly entertainment. Guests at Wingate can pick from a solid array of dining options, though the hotel lacks the top-of-the-line culinary experiences that other major Vegas resorts deliver. And while none of the restaurants are out-and-out out cheap, many offer decent value for the price. The row of restaurants just past the casino includes a low-lit Zen garden complex with several dining options. The fanciest is Benihana, located on the second level. 
The hibachi tables look out onto a waterfall and wooden bridge. The hibachi chef puts on a good show, and the food is as savory and delicious as you'd expect butter-laden meats to be. If you want to find more about other hotels, resorts, things to do, or other locations, feel free to go through our channel. We would appreciate it if you could leave us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.